I am Greg. And I am drunk. And once again, we are the all, <laughs> all seeing, seeing guys. guide slash drunks. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, we're still going. It's uh, coming up na- right now as we're recording this, coming up to midnight. We've it's been, been, uh, been a bit of a long one already. It for a few hours, but it's awesome. I'm enjoying it. Oh, always, man. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure. It certainly is. So, we're going to straight in with being the bonnet. Yep. I've got this one. You do, yeah. I, uh, I, this I'm going to enjoy uh, this. It's, something not, it's not a big deal. Just something that's a little that annoys me. But when are, it's, it's, when are they ever a big deal? Well, I mean, it's true. That's what it's being it's the just bonnet. An annoyance, it's just an annoying problem. Like... Uh, mine's big phone cases. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking about the ones that like builders use to pop it indestructible cases. Yeah. Like, you know, I get that. It's or like the cases with phone. the flap on it. I'm like... talking the more like inconvenient cases. For example, <laughs> I was at the train station uh, a couple weeks ago and there was this girl on the platform. She looked quite nice, quite indie. Yeah. Like, well, you know, she looked, but she looked like. You know, a lot of like baggy drapey clothes and like some weird for that body. hippie going for that hippie yeah chic. some like vegan canvas shoes no doubt <laughs> and um are they edible know, she, yeah she, you know she looked you know she's a little cool little leather bag like not like a fashionable one more like a little satchel it looked old like it looked like a oh yeah like she bought something. it from like a charity shop yeah yeah but probably bought it from urban outfits yeah yeah <laughs> and she was walking around anyway she stopped and then she pulled out her phone and i shoot you not it was in like the case was the shape of like a sat down teddy bear and it was oh, fucking yeah. huge. It's like, just, like, so like the phone fitted in like the stomach. Ah, oh, so it still had sake. the head, the shoulders, the arms, and the legs. That's such an inconvenience. What, what? What? You couldn't. What if like? What if you had that? And like, how would you put that in your pocket? I wouldn't be able to put it in pocket. Right. I might as well carry my iPad around. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, we're phone. not getting that far off. We're kind of yeah. sort of like, we're kind of going that back. Like, yeah, whereas yeah. it used to be like smallest phone possible. Now they're just like, well, we've done that. Let's try and get the biggest phone possible. So, yeah. It's going that way. But no, uh, that is fucking retarded. Like, why? Why would you need a phone? I know. I mean, I've seen, I've seen, I need, mean, I've seen like cases like the, ones as well. Oh my fucking God. Why is it? Yeah. What's like the big deal with having like, like, like such a like phone case that it's, it's not even necessary. And the little dangly like jewel bits as well. Do you remember well? like the, the the Nokia like the first Nokia like mobile yeah, where yeah. you could like change the case colours? Yeah, 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 that was and a big deal. Was, everyone was going ape shit for it and spending yeah. like however much on like different cases. Not it's sticking them like, with the cases the size of your fucking head. Yeah, it's just so ridiculous, man. I'm a, I'll agree with you on that. I think that's yeah. a, a massive B yeah. in a bonnet. Like, what are they gonna do next? It's what, where they're going to go from Well, I suppose you can plug them into your car, but that's not really a case. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you just walk around well, with your car. <laughs> your phone's my ringing. I've got to free, get back just in my... Just sat, just I've got to get inside my case to answer my phone. Texting from your dashboard. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are ridiculous, man. So uh, that was a quick and brief B in the bonnet because we have more important subjects to be discussing. We have, we have a very important subject to discuss today. This episode, we're talking about shitting. Not just like having the a act, poo. the act of pooping, the act of pooping. Uh, it's more the fact that it's not just. I shitting. love, I love the fact that you've you've probably done research for this, haven't you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's more shitting anywhere other than your home. Yeah, because some some people, including myself, mm-hmm. till recent anyway, found it quite a struggle. Oh, I'm, I still struggle. Yeah, I like, can't even piss when there's like other guys in the like mm. in the toilet yeah that's it isn't it i can't do it i have to have i have to have the cubicle i can't line up at the trough yeah because you feel very exposed and, the and then you do like if you stand there and then someone walks in and then you've got to do like the stand you're just standing there like begging your penis to start leaking and then or, and then you start do the awkward like phone yeah and you do like the most awkward thing where you just like you walk off and you've clearly not done a piss and it's just like it is the most awkward thing yeah but you know, yeah even like yeah i can't i can't have a shit in like uh in like a restaurant toilet. Man, I hate shitting anywhere other than my own bathroom. Yeah. But, you know, and I shit like a lot of times a day. Like yeah. three or four sometimes. Especially when I'm drinking that before. And it's very rare that I can't hold it. But sometimes you just need to go. Yeah. Like I can go, if I'm working, I can go twice before midday. I, I wish I were that regular. Hmm. But yeah, so they say especially if I'm working. Walking to work, man, in the morning shakes it all around. <laughs> <laughs> Things to work. I have to use like the shopping center's toilets. Yeah. And, you know, busy weekend. Shitting's hard to do. Yeah, no, you, you got to time that right because mm-hmm. there's always a fucking queue and it's messy. Oh, it's, it's, and you've got to do it 
do it between like the untoilet blockages when the staff go in and like <laughs> oh and like oh, yeah sort of face out like i mean i'm getting better i am getting better but i you know i'm getting older you are getting better, my stomach's uh, yeah my stomach's just not you know what it used to be no you know it's not made of concrete anymore no so it's, it's, getting, it's getting harder for me to shit up my own thing so even before we'd planned this oh wait, We'd already planned to do this podcast. We, yeah, we did. We uh, did, we generally like said like, oh, saying, let's, just, I, uh, let's talk about shitting for an hour. Since we discussed that, I had quite uh, an incident. Yes, you did. Um, which hadn't never happened to me before. Do tell. Uh, we'd been out. We'd been at the pub for a few beers, and then I we think went people to, are going to start noticing the theme of us. Yes, and then we went to um, our friend's party for his tattoo shop, mm-hmm. and um, uh, Hard Rock Tattoos and Kingston went there for the party and yeah. uh, had a few beers. They were good. They put some rum on. And uh, next door was like a, a it was the after bad party, place, and I went in there oh, and yes, I, I, right. I had a chicken. But I swear it was the cause of this. Yeah, is that I what had, you think? I had Don't a name it. Burger. They'll sue us. No. And um, we went on to like the the after party, which was yeah, the yeah. bar, and the lagon played. We watched the lagon. Yep, that was awesome. They're, very uh, good, uh, very good local guys in Kingston. Yes, uh, yes. Celtic, Celtic yeah. folk, yeah, punk yeah, rock. Yeah. So it was it was carried on drinking desperados. Yep, another theme that keeps reoccurring. And then you know we left whatever time midnight or so. Yeah, it's about and, I, and I was quite a happy drunk, like. Yeah, oh, you had a good buzz on, like, didn't you? Yeah, so I was like, oh, I'll walk you to the bus stop. Fuck it. Got there, like a true gentleman. I was like, oh man, I really need to piss. Went to piss. I couldn't piss because I needed. Like, I thought I was going to fart and shit myself. Yeah. Out of nowhere, it just hit so bad that I couldn't piss. Like you get that feeling, don't you? Like you don't want to push. No, and I was like, Joe, I, need, I, need, to, I need to go. I need to get the. It's I like the golden really rule. Feel isn't my it? stomach got fired and it was really bad. And I was like, oh, this is not good. My stomach is like rumbling. I was like, fuck, this is really bad. So once, bad. yeah, so this is like once I've got on the bus. Yeah. And, and like, you've, you've headed off to get the bus. And I was like, this is really fucking bad. And I'm walking towards the bus stop. And I'm like, oh, this, this is, it's not, I'm not going to make it. No. I was like, I'm going to fart and wish it myself. <laughs> I, I could just feel it. I knew it was happening. In public. So at this time, I'd never done before in my life. Maybe when I was a kid, but definitely not. No. As an adult. Ran down an alley <laughs> to where... <laughs> I remember I used to see homies people shit down there like years ago. <laughs> so I was like, oh, the perfect place. So I ran down there and I was like, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? It's had good reviews. Like, and I saw a green bin. So I like stood behind it. Yeah. Like, if anyone walked through and it's quite, an, it's quite, an, you know, cutways used quite a lot. Yeah. You know, people use it quite a bit to walk through even at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I run down there and I'm like, jeans go down. And bef- literally it's already happening. Like, it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's like, I don't even know. <laughs> it's, there's, it's diarrhea-ish like, oh, and that's, like gravy and obviously now I've, now that's happening I instantly start pissing as well yeah. and I'm like oh thank god it's all coming out it's all coming out and I'm feeling instantly better in liquid form luckily you know being uh, allergy season I had uh, plenty <laughs> of tissues in my bag <laughs> and uh, so you know wiping wasn't an issue I had it all there that's right yeah. the whole time, don't, don't act like you're not but, prepared but while for this is shitting. happening I'm looking across and I can see a delivery going into the back of my faces <laughs> and I'm just like oh my god if they look over and see me anyone walks past so I'm trying to move quickly but it's, it's a lot coming out oh man yeah, it's done I'm all wiped I'm great go to pull my jeans up and I'm like oh, why is the back of my jeans wet uh, put it back down to check not shit and I realised I've just obviously pissed all over the back <laughs> <laughs> You're an absolute savage. Oh my god, I felt so disgraced, and I was Ugh. so, even though there wasn't, I was so scared. You're so like no shit up my back, so I put like my jacket on, even though it wasn't that cold. It, it makes you so much more aware once something like that, like if you all of a sudden just got a bit of a bit of a damp, you're just like, oh, I can I, feel that. How many more can? Conf- I'm, like- I'm gonna read out <laughs> the message that I sent you here. I've got. I love. I, yeah, I, I love that you. Got the text message. This was at, um, <laughs> twenty to one in the morning. Yep. On a Sunday, <laughs> I've messaged you, and the top line just says, for me, I just did something horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> See, I remember getting that text, and I, I instantly thought, like, he's done one of two things, mm. and both two of those things. With. but <laughs> Both of those things involve shitting. It's yes. just whether or not he pulled his trousers down. Yes. Not. So you simply replied with, shit in public? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I just did a shit behind a bin. Think I pissed all over the back of my jeans, too. <laughs> Then I put, I'm getting old. That was it. And your reply was simply, I'm laughing out loud on the bus, dude. Sorry, but that's tickled me. That's horrendous. But I've been there, man. Also, it doesn't smell shit so much worse when you're out in public. <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> is the really answer. Does. Yes. So I get in the bus afterwards, and I'm trying to be all, like, coy, sit down. I'm like, my jeans are wet. I'm sure I stink a piss. I'm sure I stink a shit. 
Just get me home. It's like, you know, like I said, one o'clock in the morning. And then a couple I haven't seen since their wedding shop. Hello, Greg. <laughs> like, hello, hello. And I'm playing it cool, but I'm just like, they, do they know I stink of shit and piss? Yeah, they're just uh, polite. They're just super polite. They're like, oh, Greg's let, let it go, hasn't he? Yeah. Just, Literally, let it go. He, let it, yeah, all over himself. So that that was uh Yeah. See, the thing, no, the horrendous. thing about the, um, the y- your, your shit smelling worse when you do it in public is the voice of experience because I too <laughs> have had an unfortunate experience where I've had to do a poop outside. Yes. Um, and actually fairly recent, oh. like within the last month and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was out. Um, Damn, what's happened to us? I know. I was out and about and stuff. I was in Kingston. Um, uh, we, I was with uh, Jack from oh, Fighting yeah. Cox, and I was with uh, our friend Jody. Yes, and we got we got suited up. Oh, yeah, uh, it was suit we just been to we just been to Bullen's wedding. Yeah, yeah. Man, if I'd got like not 50... the same day. No, no, no. Uh, but like, I, remember, I was yeah. really happy with my suit, and I wanted to wear it yeah, again. Yeah. So I managed to get uh, so we all got suited and booted. And I left, and I missed like the bus, so I had to get on another bus that only took me like halfway home, and then like walk the rest of the way, which is like an hour's walk. Wow. Uh, fairly drunk and stuff like that. But like as you said, man, when you're walking, it kind of like if you're if you've got like a gut full of anything, you're gonna kind of want to have a bit of a poop. Yeah. Like, so I'm walking. I'm about halfway home, and I was just like, oh Christ, like this is bad. I'm not. I'm not gonna make it. Like, um, so I'm walking along, and it's. I mean, it's like sort of half one, two yeah, in the morning. Yeah. I'm walking along. And I'm just like, okay, there's, I mean, there's no one around. There's no real houses and stuff like that. We're going to knock on their door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, just excuse go to the me, so uh, Excuse me. Um, I need to poop. I need to defecate. As you can see, I'm well presented. Um, <laughs> I'm in a suit. You can trust me. But I'm very close to shitting my suit. Um, so, yeah, I was in a particular area and I saw this wall that was kind of near like a grassy area. So I went and just like went over to the wall. Yeah, it was and, like, Joe on the grassy knoll. Yeah, it's me grazing again. Um <laughs> So I went, yeah, I went to the wall and I like pulled my trousers and pants down and like propped my back against the wall. So I felt like Ooh, I was in like a seating well, I was, position. I was holding myself up. That's, I, that's impressive. I need a, I need some help. I need, to, <laughs> I need the assistance of a wall. Um, so put like, yeah, put my back against the wall, like suit, suit, like trousers around my fucking knees and shit. And uh, I, I just started doing a massive poo. Um, and it was disgusting. It was yeah, horrible. Yeah. But as you said, started pissing. Um, hadn't pulled my trousers down far enough and just pissed directly into my boxer shorts, um, which made, like took me by surprise. So I nearly stumbled and fell. Oh, you almost like, lost your foot. Nearly fell a bit. Like that. Almost fell off bad. your imaginary toilet. I know. Yeah. Nearly, fa- nearly fell off my make believe <laughs> toilet. Um, my latrine. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so like I had, to, yeah. Um, so I basically walked another thirty minutes home, just wet and just oh. like, oh, I can just smell shit. And then just yeah. So that's I'm. We're in the same boat, man. We're a, we're a couple of public shitters. Where's your suit now? Uh, oh, it's upstairs. What you just do? You wash it? Oh, no, I know. I didn't piss on the trousers. I pissed oh, in my... oh, your, but how did you get into your boxers? Not into your trousers? Apparently they were further down than oh, my. As as okay. I I am I I do. Uh, what's the phrase? hang my trousers okay sag <laughs> it's sagging it's not uh, it's not a okay. purpose You're sagging them lower but yeah they my ass hangs out my trousers basically jesus 31 years old wow well we're in the it's same you are we so are yeah we are way. we are a pair of public shit i'll really. drink to that cheers Shitting in public and was pissing yourself hey. so it also seems i'm shitting in other people's houses yeah like especially when you're young and you go around and like the family oh, God, there, can't like, do it. like it's it's tough like yeah it's that, bad. That, that's one of the, the hardest ones i think it's such a crazy pressure isn't it yeah like, you go to a girl's house and you spend the night and you're like at what point am i like i need to go for a yeah shit what's gonna happen what's gonna come out <laughs> how am i gonna cover this up like what shade of brown is it gonna be what's what is it gonna stink out the whole fucking house what, what of course it is. You, it's, you know, it's waste like, of course it's gonna stink out so i had a experience in this as well where um <laughs> where um i if I word this. How many how many shitting stories is too many? Uh this is definitely well, I definitely only have this one left. Okay, that's that good. I'm willing to talk about right now. Yeah. Um I was staying at a friend's house, um, an ex girlfriend's house. Actually no, I wasn't I was staying at her sister's. Okay. And we were there and I was a bit nervous and stuff because I was like, okay, I've not stayed here before and blah blah blah. And um <laughs> spent the night, you know, we had a bit of drink that before, had a bit yeah. of smoke and just ate loads of shit food. It's Wait kind to- of a big deal as well, like yeah, staying yeah, over yeah. and stuff. Went to bed anyway. The uh, sister's like ex boyfriend was staying over that night, right? And, and he was quite a scary guy, anyway. 
I heard it come back during the night. And I drank and went to sleep downstairs. Yeah. And in the morning, I woke up at like six. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go now. Where I'm <laughs> like, I need to go. So I get up. I, I can't hold this up. Creep longer. into the bathroom, sit down. I'm like, right, okay, I'm going. And, you know, it's happening. Like, then I hear from downstairs the guy come up. And I'm just like, oh, okay, where's he going? And then the <laughs> door handle turns. Did your bum hole just close you know, up. Wait, and he was like, who's in there? Who's in there? I was like, oh, Greg is. So hurry up. And he, he was just waiting outside the door. Oh, and God. Like, everything just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> everything just went to fucking. Time. Everything went to your lockdown. Your bowels. Like, it stopped mid-drift. And I'm just like, fuck, what am I going to do? I can't relax because he's, yeah. he's outside the door. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to shake it off. It's not coming. That's it. You need to relax, and I'm man. I'm just like, oh my God, this is what am I going to do? And so I was like panicking. So I just like panic. He's only he knocked again. I was like, come on, what are you doing in there? And I'm like, oh my God. So I stood up, just grabbed loads of tissue and just fucking wiped through. Yeah. You know, and I keep going. Cause like it's a marker. You know, because this is messy because, you know, it's not done. Throwing at the toilet, throwing at the toilet. <laughs> I, I looked down and I was like, man, there's too much tissue in there. Yeah. I was like, what do I do? Like, if. Ugh. so I flush it twice so I, I just flushed it yeah went down and I was like okay and then it all came back up like, oh what, all the toilet paper and co- and or just I, everything yeah, it just floated back up like because because this guy said the it's a nice little toilet, poop, a poop the, suit yeah because the guy's <laughs> had the toilet flush he's like yeah. right it's coming out now so he's ready man like, yeah. I'm, I'm like fuck but he's like come on and I'm like oh my god what to do what's panicking looking at this f- Block toilet. Yeah, yeah. This guy at the door, I'm freaking the fuck out. So I'm just like, ooh, ooh. so I just grabbed it all. I just like <laughs> grabbed all the tissue, pulled it out, and it all like drained away. Now I'm left with this A big pile of shit tissue. Fucking tissue. I'm like, oh my god. And he's like, come on. And I'm like, yeah, like, 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 like trying to turn the tap on. So I'm like, washing my hands. It's like, I'm like, open, I'm looking at the bath. I'm like, I could just throw it in there and put the curtain across. <laughs> and hope for the and best. And then come get it. But what if he needed a shower? Well, that's it. And then come get it when he's done. Yeah. I think he just needed to go to the toilet. I was like, I could just risk it. And I was like, no, I can't. So I, I just looked and the window was open. So I just panicked and threw it out the window. <laughs> Open the door. He's like, oh, fucking it stinks and shit. Like, anyway, a few You're hours damn later. Damn right few, it does. A few hours later, having, uh, having breakfast and we're getting ready to go out. And then uh, the sister goes out the front, opens the door, and I'd say, oh, no, someone's throwing shit all over me car. <laughs> <laughs> and I go out on this, and I'm just like, oh, my God. Were you just like the, the <laughs> innocent like, party? It's like, let me help. Like, oh, who would do such a thing? <laughs> oh, let me help you clean up. No, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. It's not your problem. You're a guest. It's not your problem. <laughs> oh, I frankly don't know. It did was, you ever? Did you ever confess? I think I did eventually tell the girl I was seeing a little while later. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. She, she probably would have told her by now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man out there looking for you. <laughs> so maybe. Oh man. Perhaps. I mean, yeah, I've, I've. Oh, man, I don't think I, I don't think I can beat that. To be honest, that's a pretty. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Sir. It was many years ago as well, so I think that's played a part in my. Uh, me and I know when uh, I went more on the discomfort s- of shitting out of my own bathroom. Yeah, I went on a skiing trip with like uh, school and stuff, and like me and two friends like shared a room, and like we were only there for like I don't know five five days six days, and four out of those six days we blocked the toilet because of oh. our, because of our shitting, and um, to the point where we were on like first name terms with the handyman that came <laughs> around to like unblock it and stuff, and he's just like, man, what are you kids eating? Like, <laughs> Uh, it's just yeah so we did that and it was I think we just excessively used too much toilet paper yeah you and, do uh, it's, oh, it's easily done I, you it's know. the overwipe but that's what I'm saying so you know on public transport planes trains it's it's hard man, man like, anyone anyone that can shit on a plane is a hero to me mm, I, they deserve a, an award we were do you remember the other day we were talking about this and we we came up with the idea of the, um, the conspiracy shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Like, like shitting, at like, <coughs> which could mean like shitting at a dinner party, not flushing, but not owning up to it, even yeah. though everyone knows it's you, but they can't prove it. That's it, yeah. And their conspiracy fart was the same sort of idea. It was the same like, thing, farting yeah. in a lift and not admitting to it. It's you know, you know, uh, what was it? We came up, yeah. It was uh, farting. Uh, you you think you know who did it, but there's not enough evidence it's to like, back it's it like up. A Cluedo, like, yeah, like, yeah. A farting Cluedo. <clears throat> so. When I'm talking about farting people's houses yep. and parties, I um, I found an actual guide to shitting at someone's house. What, like a step by step? Yeah. 
I know there's I know there's supposed to be like the perfect position to like take a shit. But by the looks of the diagrams that I've had a look at, it involves having your feet up on the seat. Yeah, it's weird, isn't and it? It's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's like a proper squat. What the fuck is that about? Because like, apparently it's just like, it's, still on the floor. like it like straightens out like all your fucking bowels and shit. But like, just doesn't, I, mate, amazing. I can't, I can't fucking get my feet up that high. No, I don't want to do that, do you? I want stirrups. That's no, what I, I want. Be, I want to relax and move my magazine. I want one of those pregnancy beds where your legs are up on <laughs> well, two little what? things. <laughs> like a birthing pool. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> A home birth. Yeah, I'm giving birth. Ah, uh, I need to do a home birth shit. <laughs> so, step one. Asking Mr. and Mrs. Host if you can use their toilet. Standard. So you've been sitting down, you know, you're drinking, you're in a dining room, you've been there a few hours now drinking and talking, blah, blah, and then you've began to think, you know, I need shit. Ooh. So, you know, your stomach's on a, you know, your stomach starts to rumble and you're like, hey, you know, this has to happen now. So. You're turtling. Do you say like you know I'm just going to the little boys' room because that's a bit you know, it's a bit weird. It's a bit that's creepy. a bit that's like you know I the, mean we couldn't get away like being the age that we are. Mm. I don't think we could get away. With no, being, like, so, not even as a joke. Just like oh, just go to the little boys' room. It's just so, like so the politest way is to just excuse yourself or you no know, pretend you're using your phone. You know, all coming clean to the host. I need to use your toilet. Yeah. I need to do a poo. I think I think the best way to do it is just like um, can you just excuse me for the moment? You know, or just pretend I need shit. Just just just, just pretend you're. You know, on the phone, leave the room, then sneak upstairs and find the toilet. Yeah, and do it. And then step two is having a nice big shit. <laughs> is that it? No, that's not all of it. <laughs> you get in. That's the, you've got to check your say, surroundings. That's not really like a step by step guide. That's just they, etiquette. They actually recommend taking a photo of the bathroom before you use it, so what? you can tell what everything was in case you move it in the process. <laughs> this this uh, this bathroom is not <laughs> feng shui enough. Feng pui. <laughs> So you sit down and you get it all out. Yeah. You're done. Now's the hardest bit. The re-entry procedure. Into oh, what? Going not, back not, into... Yeah, yeah. Going not back put, into not the situation. Not putting the shit back inside you. Oh. That'd be awful. So, <laughs> do you go back in there and just, you know, walk in as everything's fine? Want a high five? But then you know, you know, like, you've seen the people look and they just like, ah, oh, that's the cunt that just shit in there. Well, toilet. that's the thing. Like, if you're away for, uh, you know, a pooing amount of time... People are going to clock on. They're not going to be just like, well, that was the longest piss ever. Like, this, you know, I got busted at work once because I was gone for like 20 minutes. And wow. they're just like, you, it was, is there, people were genuinely concerned. They thought I had like bowel issues. I was just like, nah, I was just having a bit of a dos. Like, <laughs> or do you walk out and make a big joke out of it? Be like, oh, it smells like a horse's ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, or do you just, the best thing to do is wait till there's a conversation going and slyly mingle in. Just, just kind of just slide in. Yeah. What would, you, what would you choose? I you'd think walk in, well, it, it, you'd it, walk in wanting high fives, yeah, wouldn't so, you? Yeah, if someone addressed the point I'd just gone for shit, I probably would just be go with it. Yeah, fuck I it. I think it's the best way to do it. Because they're trying to embarrass you. If no one says anything, like, then carry yeah. on as normal. So no one goes in there for the next few minutes. If it's if it's What if you like walk back in and it's just eerily silent? If, like, no one's All of a sudden, like as soon as you walk back in, no one's talking. Would you just be like, I just did a shit. <laughs> Just to kill the mood completely. Yeah, just sit down. Oh, that was a good shit. Yeah. Step four is congratulations. You have shit. <laughs> That's not a step. <laughs> that is not a step. But what is it? Is it? Is it like the anxiety of it? Is it just not being comfortable? Is it? You know. What... I think it's it's definitely like um, a, a mental thing uh, in the sense of you know. It's definitely mental. It's de- it's mental. Um, but it's you know you know what I mean though. Like it's um. It, because you're not in your own house and stuff like that, you kind of feel a bit awkward and you know it's going to be horrible yeah. and you kind of want to be a good guest and stuff. But um, you know it needs to happen. It's a normal thing to do. Isn't It's totally normal. It's, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't exist if it wasn't normal. It shouldn't be so, you know, such a taboo thing to do. Yeah. To discuss. It's. I think it's just the, you know, if, if poop smelled like roses, it'd be fine. You know, if I need to do a poop at work, I'm just I'm like, okay, like, hey, how many excuses have been gone for a while? Yeah. Oh, I just need to go check some emails quickly. I just need to go <laughs> send some emails. Be back in a minute. Some pee mail. Poop mail. And if I can... There you go. Nip off. off. I use the... Uh, if someone's staying around, like when I lived in my flat, if someone was staying over and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a shit in the morning and they're going to yeah. hear it, I'd like turn the shower on. <laughs> 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 Ten, I was having a shower. Did you ever have any like... Uh, like if you were younger and stuff when the sort of novelty of pooping was hilarious, did you ever have like any like slang or any sayings for going to have a poop? I don't think I did actually, no. No. Nah. I remember I convinced my little brother to shit in the street once. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I'm just thinking like So this is a, a family thing oh, One of the worst things I could have ever done Really? Jesus How Christ. old was he? Oh he was young He was young But still it shouldn't have happened I think I did get told off for that Yeah you better um, Some other uh, excuses you can use To uh, go you know, alongside me Going to send the email figures And what yep. have you Number one Have your tampons ready in hand Now that wouldn't work for us I think, I mean, to be fair, I, don't, I think people are going to be too busy questioning you saying that to, f- <laughs> to even think about you going for an horrible shit in their toilet. It's just, like, just picking up my tampon. I'm say, just going to go he, excuse myself one moment. Did you just say his tampons? His, his <laughs> tampons. <laughs> Why has he got tampons? What is he doing to do? There's towels. Just walking like, up to the bathroom. If he's bathroom, bleeding out the anus, minute. he needs to go to the doctor. Um, show disgust as you uh, enter. Like, as if you're like, oh, dear. It's got to go oh, God, what am I doing? Um, put toilet paper in the bowl just so it doesn't make the splashing sound as much yeah no I've, I've done that trick and uh, cough sneeze then, and make why do you want, why do you want a little sounds. why do you want a little poo nest well you know just, it just silences it a bit it, just it does also hold it and let the smell come up um, cough sneeze and make other normal noises <laughs> so I can cover up what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> some people struggle with poo in front of their partners not like directly in front of them, but like living with them and stuff. <laughs> Look at me! Like Look fart, at me! Like farting in front of them. I mean, I mean I, yeah, I, I but there's a big problem. difference between having a bit of a fart and having a bit of a shit in front yeah. of your loved one. You know, I can do it in front of, I don't directly shit in front of my wife, but no. she knows I'm doing it. And I'm like, I wouldn't, I it wouldn't. Stinks. I could, I could eat, I could totally do like a wee in front of Oh, I've done a wee, yeah, in front Standard. of Standard. Yeah. But yeah, I know, shit's you know, a bit different. And I, and I don't hide my farts anymore. Like, I didn't redo them in the first place. No. My you're farts were thick and fast quite early on in the relationship. <laughs> thick and fast. <laughs> she actually does call me Smelly. Oh, that's the pet that's name, Smelly. Sweet. Well, yeah, but it's not. When you think about it, it's not really that cute. Oh, yeah, is it's it? not lovely. And if she gets and calls me in front of people, Smelly, like in front of my parents. <laughs> well, I'm not Smelly. What are you saying that for? I thought I had a shower earlier. Yeah, it's totally I'm fine. not Smelly. I was going to pee in front. No, I don't really. Don't. <laughs> don't do that. You shit with the door open. So oh, I f- if there's anyone, if you're home alone, do you leave the door open when you shit? Oh, of course. Stand up. Even if I'm at work. Even if you're at work. Yeah, yeah. Man, man, you're no bold, there. man. No one's there. I've got the key, and then you knock on the door. I did a shit, I did a shit at work once and realised I hadn't locked the door. And it was only afterwards that I realised that could have been the worst situation of my life if someone had walked in on me. I swear somebody walked in on me once when I was working, working. the place I worked <laughs> in before having a shit. <laughs> I swear they did. You're just like, take a picture at last. Or like, yeah, well, all the boys were closed, so I had to use the girls, and someone went in there to like, oh, mop man. Up. And I was the only guy, so I pretty much had my own toilet. Oh, no, that's it. I was the only guy working there, and there was, go- there was boys and girls' toilets in this shop. And I got, so the boys was all mine. So I never locked the door. I remember sitting there shitting, and all of a sudden, the door flew open, and I put my foot to stop it, and it was like delivery driver. <laughs> and he was like, hello? And I was like, and he kept pushing. Yeah. And a proper good old look at me. I think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What'd you have? Uh, what's, what's that? I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, Shepherd's, Shepherd's I, Pie I, last I, night, I, was I it? Going, easy, mate, easy. He's kept pushing <laughs> it. I, um, I, feel, I feel like uh, we should talk about um, our trip to Amsterdam um, oh, when right. it comes to uh, shitting. Because I... Um, definitely abroad. It wasn't even an abroad thing, I think, because we were... It does change when you fly. We went to, we went to Amsterdam last year... Um, Myself and and uh, Greg and our friend Chris and our friend Ed, we went together. A bit of a boys, little mm. little cheeky. Boys on top. Oh, oh he said cheeky. Guy, <laughs> guy's gonna slap me later. Um, yeah, we just went. It wasn't like a lads thing or anything like yeah. that. We just wanted to just go to Amsterdam for the obvious reasons. Um, so we we went like we stayed in a hostel and stuff like that, and the toilet was like slap bang right next to our like room, and obviously you got to share these toilets and stuff. Um, and I went in there like. The day after we, like, the, the next day after, like, landing and stuff like that, I went in there and I sort of sat down and I closed the door and my knees were just jammed mate, up. Uh, like, mate, they were, like, by your ears. Oh, mate, it was so bad, which apparently but is the perfect, position, yeah. perfect shitting position. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I, I didn't actually take, like, a poop for, like, four days when we were there. And we were there for, like, five. Yeah, like, five, six days. So six fucking days, bad. Um, but when I, when I did actually eventually go, it was... Uh, it was in a we were in a uh, coffee shop in the red light district and above it was a bar mm. um and i i said to everyone look guys that I'm, I'm gonna have to shoot off and just go and try and get this out of me. <laughs> um so i i go upstairs and i i uh, i find the toilets in this bar and i go in there and i don't i i sort of sit down and sort of try and 
sort myself out and I don't actually realise how long I'm gone for <laughs> but how like how long did I like it mate, clo- so fucking long so long I was mean, it like, mate like, it was well over half an hour before it's I like, that's for you. like to me I was I was going mate I was like I was in a realm of yeah, my yeah, own yeah. I was trying to think like happy poo thoughts yeah um so I like I'm I'm in this I'm in this cubicle like having a shit and stuff and I hear someone like walking past outside like whistling because the, the the actual main like toilet door was open yeah yeah um and I I walked past it just saw toilets and I was like bang going in and um I hear someone walk past and whistle and they go over to somewhere else um like a, like another yeah, another yeah, yeah. toilet um and then I hear them walk past and then I hear the footsteps stop. And then all of a sudden, I just hear Greg just go, Joe? And I was like, yeah, yeah, Greg? And he's like, yeah. And, he's like, and Greg just goes, what are you doing in the girls' toilets? <laughs> and that's, I'd been sat in the girls' fucking toilets oh. of this place for half an hour, shitting. I, I, I went, that's what you heard. I went to check the boys first and you weren't in there. I know, yeah. And I'm like, so where the fuck is he? Oh, and I saw so a cubicle funny. shutting the girls through the open door. And I was like, is that him? <laughs> I don't really want to go in there because it's not him. Oh, I just want to check you out because you've been gone for so long. It was so bad. This year, you mean like, you know, I like came back down kidnapped, like I taken or something. I came back down just like laughing myself stupid. I was so, so like, it, it was, it was just so ridiculous that it was funny. But yeah, Amsterdam, Amsterdam was awesome. I joined but you, but in the cubicle, in the I voice. enjoyed you. I enjoyed, I enjoyed, joined. <laughs> I joined in. I joined, <laughs> but I went to the one across. Yeah, I actually went to the correct toilets. Well, you know, I, I mean, I blame it on the fact that the door was open and I didn't yeah. even hesitate to even look at a possible Just ran sign. straight in. Toilet! Start so didn't excited. Know. Didn't know better. So looking back at um, <laughs> people that find it hard to poo with their other their partner around, mm-hmm. I found uh, not an agony arm, but more like a, a people talking about... Um, an open, an yeah, open, an open conversation. Yeah, like forum about it. And this one was like, ladies, I need your advice here. I'm one thousand percent serious, by the way. How on earth am I ever supposed to move in with my boyfriend if my body won't let itself go until I'm alone in my apartment? <laughs> this happens to me every single relationship, even though they're very long-term serious ones. This has prevented me from going on vacation too with my boyfriend because when am I supposed to go to the tiny little hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the matter of me holding it in. It's not I physically won't be able to go and try it till my boyfriend leaves the apartment. Then all of a sudden I'm able to go. So, you know, how is supposed to, how are we supposed to move in? Like that's, uh, yeah. that's a crazy thought. Her boyfriend that, sounds like uh, that's Imodium. A, but that's but I, I've met lots of people like that. Like that's crazy. Yeah. But that's it's not. It's more of. no. It's more common than you yeah, think. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's very common. Yeah. There was loads of them. Like someone replied, being like, "One of my best friends had this problem. She got in the habit of sending her boyfriend to the store for something she forgot. Seriously, they're married now, have two kids, and they dated for like seven years, and she still has this problem. Does she has? Do you think he's cracked the code? He's just like, oh, oh going to the he, store. He, he knows what's toilet going time. On. He knows exactly what's going on. I mean, that is no. It's I mean, especially with like you know couples and stuff, man. It's a bit. It's a bit strange. Like, but what are you gonna do? Like, it's it, you. It, it's but there you like need therapy. To nip it in the butt early. Nice, nice pun. Yeah. Nice, hey. nicely done this. Because <laughs> if you don't nip it in the butt early, you just, once it gets like seven years and you've not done it, now it's a thing. Yeah. Now it's, it's a totally weird, a thing. weird thing. Their 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 couple friends talk about them. Yeah, it's what. Yeah, oh, they don't the... move. I talk about it. We talk about it on a podcast. We physically can't. <laughs> I I prefer not to poo away from home. If I do, the bathroom has to be pretty clean, unless there's my stomach. Oh, which see, because that sounds like more like an OCD thing. Because I know they're definitely, man. People can't shit in other people's toilets because they don't know how clean it is. Mm. They'll probably be in there twenty minutes having a scrub up. Yeah, I don't like, really think about that. I'm just going to do it. That's it. It's just it, like, what's the point in cleaning it? It's about to be soiled with poop. But this one's weird because this girl's like, I stayed at my parents' house last weekend and my poop factory shut down for four my days straight. Poop factory. <laughs> hey. But your parents' house? I thought you'd be right doing. I'd be right doing my parents' house. Yeah. Like, I I don't see why you wouldn't. Just show that's home. it. Yeah. Like. I mean, like when you like when you like moved out and stuff like that. Did you have problems? No, not at all. There you go. Not Sorry. at all. I, th- about... I, th- I think I shit in even the first ten minutes of being there. <laughs> One time it's mine. It's mine. It's my bathroom. Fine. That's it. Broke the seal. I better fucking Christmas. When you were looking like around that. the place, were you, did you just sneak off? It's like, look, I'm just gonna try the toilet. <laughs> I need to shit in every apartment. I'm we going check, to. Every hotel, uh, I'm uh, going hotel. to require every flat we check out. I've got to have a shit in it just to. <laughs> no, this one's not right. And just not... open the door. It's like, Lizzie, it's good. There's nowhere to put my Empire magazine. <laughs> 
I do enjoy reading my Empire magazine. That's it. Well, that's I mean, that's a big that's a big deal as well when it's when like with the routine, you know, like some people just like look at their phone and stuff, which I believe is like replacing like the book or magazine. No, I still have my Empire magazine. Everyone just looks at like. I, read it sporadic, I don't read it in order. I just pick up random pages and just. Oh, oh, I used to open up the same one. It's just an article, isn't it? Like, because yeah. I mean, Empire's usually got like a good like sp- yeah. four page spread of like yeah, a, yeah. a classic I, film. Yeah, I'm picking like... an article to read. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one next time I go for a poo. Nice one. You know, when I get a new issue, Save I do that. like to go for a poo. Save that for next time. Read. Um, so in the paper recently, I saw this and it made me think of this episode. Yeah. Um, dozens of tourists are falling ill after guests deliberately poo deliberately deliberately poo. <laughs> into the swimming pool in a copycat craze. A copycat craze? Yes. <laughs> Travel firms are threatening to find anyone caught logging. Inspired by the In Between Us 2, where a character defecates oh, down a water slide. For fuck's sake. And it's now called Logging. So they're purposely shitting That's the up there with like the, uh, like the neck nomination shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that was how fucking well, stupid people were getting that sick place. from people shitting in the oh, pool. Man, why would you purposely do I mean, I can understand by accident. <laughs> But fuck. Joe, it's since you just toilet. Okay. You just hear me like, running the bath. Yeah. What are you doing in there, Greg? I'm just logging. <laughs> it's my hobby. I like logging. I just like, oh, this must be I've got a, a cup badge. A tree, a tree thing. I've got a cup badge in logging. Ugh. <laughs> so, I think the answer to this is just be ballsy, comfort, go for it. Yeah. Just go in and there's come no, back with an update no. to break, you know, come back with something like, you know, sound. Oh, that sounded like wet meat here in the floor. <laughs> oh, I've never apologised to a toilet before. Or my, uh... my, my favourite. I think I just shit jam. <laughs> <laughs> I just shit jam. It just lightens the mood. <clears throat> That's it. No, if you're, you know, if you're that embarrassed about it, make fun of it. Yeah. Because it just it will make you feel like less like a horrible yeah. savage. It's so much easier. As soon as I fart, I'm like, I farted, it fucking stinks. Yeah. Admit to it straight away. That's it. Make a big thing out of it. It's me, I'm disgusting, sorry. I've been trying to shit this entire time. What, why doing this? Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. Cut a hole in the chair. Man. Well, I did a shit just before we started recording this here. How at your house. You? At my house. Yeah. I'm, well quite, I'm, I'm quite used to the shit in your house now. That's <laughs> why we do this. But again, if your like, parents are in, I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, good. I wouldn't, be able, I wouldn't, to, I wouldn't be able to do it. I remember my friends had a flat in Serbian and their toilet broke for a while and they were just shitting in a bag and throwing it out back. Oh and, my god! And, and there was like a party one day, you know, they threw a party one night and like people were Bring doing bag. people were doing it there like in the garden and you'd go out in the garden with a cigarette sign and you'd just see like four heads pop up in the garden just, like, out, <laughs> out in the darkness shitting. Man, not even like festivals are that bleak. Like the neighbors looking out, they're just shitting all over the garden. <laughs> like, no wonder their grass is so good. Kevin. Kevin, they're Kevin. doing it again next door. Come, they're defecating in the lawn again. Look at it. It's Do fucking, something, Kevin. It's fucking everywhere. We can use that compost for us. We need that. <laughs> so, man, shitting, eh? Yeah, so there you go. Nice, big, fat, funky shit. Lovely stuff. So, uh, that was shitting. And we're going to move on to uh, Joe's Corner of Fear. Is it shit? Before I've even said it? Yeah, is it shit? I'm not that I'm going to guess already. No, because we all know that's like scat. And I don't. I, to be fair, I don't want to discuss that. Okay. In any, I don't want to discuss poo in a sexual nature. Uh, pebble um, dashing. No, I have. I've got. A, I've got a good one. But I'll, uh, I'll let you do the intro. Okay. First. So yeah, we're gonna have a little. We're gonna get off the toilets now. Wipe our asses. <laughs> pull up our uh, boxer shorts and piss soaked jeans. And we're gonna have a little toddle <laughs> off over to Joe's corner of fear. Joe's corner of fear. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to my moist little corner. Ooh. I know. Why do people hate the word moist, don't they? I quite like the word moist. Yeah, mm. I like it because it annoys people. Mm, I um, like it. But let's, let's get away from that. So uh, once again, I've been uh, researching um, the wonderful fetish world that is available to mm. us. It's a lot of fetishes. Yeah, days. there's loads out there. You know, people that only like Chicken missionary. being quite a big one. Unfortunately, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to talk about that. No. It's, and it's and although I like I like your enthusiasm for guessing before I've even said what it is, uh, it's not. No, um, it would have been too obvious, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, that was it. You know, I knew you'd probably get. And also, it's it's such an imagine obvious it was thing that was ruined the whole segment. Yeah, I think. I mean, what I've what I have found, um, I think it's kind of obvious. Um, Pissing. It's not. I could say it first, and then you can start guessing. No, okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 viewers, listeners. Um, so yeah, I've, uh, again, I've uh, done a little research on some fetishes. I've I found like a whole list of them, but none of them were really like 
ridiculous until I I found this one because I found it kind of amusing. Um, so today's today's fetish of choice is uh, mechanophilia. Meccano. <laughs> like making, making like a clock tower, making Parliament out of a Do you remember that shit? Do you remember yeah, Technics? Yeah, remember I do, yeah, yeah. Like cars with suspension and shit, wasn't it? Out of Lego. Uh, what was that? Like cars with like suspension. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, you got it before even thinking about it. What was it? It's uh, basically uh, a sexual attraction to cars and other machines. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes. Kind of weird. I mean, basically, it just says, you know, just, just men and cars, which yeah. is just... But um, I did actually, um, whilst whilst also looking at this, I did find uh, a little news story, uh, which is uh, naked man caught on CCTV having sex with a Land Rover. Ah, of course. Now, I... The great thing about this, this I actually car. I actually remember this because I don't think it was that long ago. Uh, and I definitely remember reading about it. Yeah, oh, I yeah, 2013. It. Yeah. So, like, two years ago. Um, so just give you a little bit of info about this. Go on then. Um, drunken Daniel Cooper, who is known by his nickname Daniel Hot Cooper. Cock, <laughs> started grinding against a blue 4x4 Land Rover Discovery. A court heard Cooper, 24, was caught on CCTV simulating sex with a Land Rover and was parked outside a takeaway restaurant. Cooper said he was so drunk he could not remember what happened until he was shown the CCTV footage. Oh, so this, yeah, this like, man. Can I, can, I, can I keep that? Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, I was, I was going right there. Well, I put some nice music look at my, look at my stroke game. Down, 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 down. Um, yeah, father of three described normally as being a caring family oh, man. God. Normally he's described that. Now he's described as Land Rover fucker. Yes, car fucker. So this is a thing. I mean, you could argue that you know he was just drunk and have a bit of a laugh and stuff like that. But when you're drunk, you know the truth comes out. It does you know? And, and your also co- and your cock comes out and, and goes into cock. a car. And also sometimes a bit shit. I remember there being a documentary on Channel Four again about this. Yeah, and um, I tell you what, about, Channel Four, yeah, they got some, out, they and got some good ones, haven't they? Yeah, people having weird relationships, I think. And there was a guy that was having a relationship with his car, <laughs> and they were having a full-on sexual relationship. So and, weird. And um, he was basically going to tell his dad about this. That's the yeah. While they were filming. There's always like one person as well. Yeah, and he's there like, with his dad, and he's like, "So, dad, uh, the reason that's like, okay, why am I here for, with your car and this camera crew?" Yeah. So, dad, the reason I wanted to talk to you today is because I want to say that I'm in a a relationship with, and the, the car had a name, I can't remember what it was. I'm in a, I find I'm that in, weird. I'm that people in a relationship name. with uh, my car, and dad was like, "What?" He's like, "Yes, like a Malcolm. very, very sexual relationship." <laughs> and dad was like, "Oh." I see. I knew you was fond of it. Was he just I like... I, he was just gobsmacked. Didn't know, what the fuck did you say with a camera in your face? You put any bush dick in there so daddy won't kill him. Was he just... <laughs> <laughs> That's not normal, son. No, no. His dad was just like, son, we have the same pleasures. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're half car. Do you remember the family car? <laughs> the Ford Focus? That was your real mother. I've been rubbing my genitals on the engine for years. <laughs> well, I put, uh, up the exhaust pipe. Well, it's the only, uh, it's the only natural it's the anal, place. I guess it's the anus, isn't it? It's the, it's, well, I think it's just the orifice. So the blowjob is be like sticking. It's in the even bonnet. that, or just stick your dick over the open bonnet and slam it shut. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you like that, don't no, you? No, I don't like that. What if I said it in a more whispering tone? Oh, I think you should. No, I'm not going to do that. It'd be, if they, I love to we'll see. Get the wrong I, kind I'd love of to see the porno version of the horror Christine. What's that? The car that's uh, alive. The horror. Oh thing. God, yeah. If they made like a porno version. That it must exist. But that car would be the one a fucking the people, car. surely. A raping car. Hello, governor. Hello, governor. <laughs> Just going around Hello, penetrating governor. young What would it penetrate them with, drivers. though? Uh, exhaust pipe can stretch out. Aerial. That's more of like a whipping tool. An old school, I can see that the old like school aerial tool. comes out. Maybe the uh, windscreen the, wipers. Yeah, the wind, they, they come out as well. They, they just it flickers its eyelashes. Spanky, spanky, bop, bop. That's flirting, flirting with the old eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon he just goes to, if they're in love with cars, they just go to like car washes and just jerk off. Maybe that's what dogging is. Soapy. Maybe we've got dogging completely Car-ing, wrong. Parking. Parking. People are just, just like, parking. The, although there may be a naked woman inside a dogging car, men are probably just wanking on the car. There's it's a like, really oh. weird advert. I've seen it in the cinema. It's for a car. But it's like a car giving birth to another car. It's really, it's so Oh, is it one of them, weird. is it? It's so, it starts off like, oh, cool, it's transforming. Then you realize it's not. And then it's like, it's like pushing. And then, like, another cast has been born out of it. Oh, man, it's freaky as fuck. Oh, man. It's I don't, so this is, weird. Man, this is, I used to love adverts as a kid for some reason. Yeah, I now, did. So like, I remember thinking as a kid, oh, it would be awesome. There was a whole TV channel of adverts. Mate, I blame and Toys R Us. As fuck. I blame Toys R Us. Because that advert was the dopest cool. shit. Toys in a million or under, under one room. room. Oh, it's man. Toys that, R Us. That, that meant Christmas. Yeah, it? it was, yeah. That and I love Christmas. that they still show it. Yeah. 
Good old Jeffrey. The fucking that, child name, slave Jeffrey. driver. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, you bastard giraffe. Yeah. So uh, yes, that was um, that was our our fetish for yeah, the uh, for the episode. I was on board of it. it was a, we you are, you go. That, yeah. All aboard, baby. All aboard. Side. Yeah, it's uh, McCann enough for uh, a good bumper sticker. I love my owner. I love my owner. <laughs> yes. Oh. Help me. <laughs> Mechanophilia. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> Just automatically. Oh, are you saying if a, ch- if a car gave birth when, when, to like no, half no, no, car, no, no. half child? When, when the guy like leaves the car and the car like, sees like a traffic warden, and the car's like, this is my chance. And like <laughs> rolls forward like to a double yellow line, waiting for the ticket, hoping it'd be towed away. Just like, kill me. Kill me. <laughs> like in Aliens, when they find the yeah. kid in the wall. Kill oh, me. Oh, God, that's awful. Kill me. Kill me. Oh, just like I can't just kill me so bad so we're gonna move on to uh, you didn't ask for it but here's our advice anyway show us your agony excuse me can I ask you a question I don't want your advice I don't want to I don't need to listen to your talks I don't want your advice just think you should marry the dog and be happy I don't need to know what you have to say disclaimer do not take our advice if you do we'll not be able to canterboy for an edible heartbreak thank you what does it mean that I keep having recurring dreams about pooing out of my mouth <laughs> you watch that South Park episode too many times. <laughs> uh, and they put that's it no, well, yeah it says uh, what does it mean that I have recurring dreams about pooing out of my mouth I mean really what the fuck yours too scared to go to sleep because <laughs> that's where your pooing happens <laughs> does that mean they talk a lot of shit that's, I mean that would be that would be like uh, inside them I don't know man that's Getting the evilness out. I think I need to stop taking acid. The, the dark childhood what was dreams. It? I wonder the what dark that is. Childhood past. What does that? What does that mean in like the realms of like dream like analogy? Like what would what would that mean? Because as you said, man, that's a lot of shit talk. Yeah. That's it. Like you talk so much shit. Or maybe they kind of hate themselves on the inside. Could be. I think that seems too obvious. Maybe usually, that's. May, yeah. Maybe usually that's the them. obvious connection to the dream isn't really what it. No. Maybe, yeah, or you know, just them trying to want to want to change the bad things in their way by getting rid of like the the negative stuff, aka the poo. Well, I, mean, I don't really know what to say to that. I mean, start so start, start drinking your own piss. Yeah, probably. Maybe that. Maybe then you'll start dreaming about piss instead. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe maybe start drinking your own piss, and maybe your dreams will stop you wanting to, or kill your ass off. That's it. But I mean, you know, they. I mean, they. Uh, the fact they have to actually they have to actually drink their own piss to mm. make themselves stop thinking dreaming about pooing out their mouth mm. so weird i've not had a dream about pooing out my mouth before no no i never i couldn't honestly say that the idea of shitting out my mouth makes me really sick actually yeah that's not that's not the greatest of feelings that'd be for a me. weird kind of uh throwing up wouldn't it throwing up your own i oh. feel ill thinking about it actually i imagine oh no don't don't imagine <laughs> Please, please. Don't Viewers, imagine. don't imagine shitting out of your mouth. No. We're, we're trying, we're trying to do it for you, and the, the good host we are. First, that's we're, the... we're, we're, we're going it with the canaries. We're going to go through <laughs> it first, and we're deciding it's not worth thinking about. That is, it yeah, no, that's sick. that's one of the first ones that we've done where I've really just been like, I don't know what to say to that. Like, stop. I don't know. That's really caught me off guard. Yeah, hasn't it? What Jeffrey? was the what, what was the response on the agony? I don't on? think I have the response actually. Oh, um, I try not to read the responses. Um, is it just you're a fucking maniac? It was uh wow, this has been my favourite one yet. <laughs> and I'm not the one at all equipped to respond to it. Yeah. So same answer well as us. Stumped, mate. Stumped, same answer stumped as us. Stumped and stumped. I wouldn't even published it. <sighs> I think they need professional help. Yeah, maybe that is. That's and it. especially they're having it every night. Yeah. That's every night? So saying every night. I mean, I know, like, I, I, I mean, Recurring like, dreams. Yeah. But that's do you have any? Uh, we'll get. We'll save them. For oh, the no, we'll save that for the dreams because I've. De- yeah, you've yeah. definitely had a few. Haven't yeah, you? yeah, they yeah. fair. Not shitting, but recurring. Not shitting. Dreams. Yeah. So we don't really have a response to that, apart from just maybe no, drinking your own piss um, to try and change the. Uh, that's. I mean, that's the most logical the thing we can think of. Thought process of. Uh, it is, might make you sick. Yeah. But maybe if you throw up first and go to sleep. Mm. You won't feel the need There's to. There's a lot of water your in out. your piss, though, isn't there? I think. Or waste. Yeah. Is it all just waste? Yeah. It's all waste. I'm only going on the level of water world and use that filtering system to get all the water out of his wee wee. In Water World, yeah, you know oh, the Kevin, course. Kevin, yeah, and it's yeah, a Kevin yeah, Bacon yeah, film. Yeah. Kevin, oh, I need yes. to start getting people's the names Kevin right. Kevin Bacon film, Water World, Six Fantastic. Degrees of Separation. Ooh. I can do it, man. He was in JFK with Kevin Bacon. Ah, there you go, Kevin Costner. Kevin oh. Bacon. That's uh, there's a lot of Kevin's and a lot of Bacon and a lot of Costner. Man, we should do that one episode. It would just be us what, doing all the six, Kevin's. No, no, just Six Degrees of Separation. We have to just like, oh, figure it, out. It could go on forever. It could go on, and it could be a lot of dead air. Go on forever. It could be a lot of dead air. 
Dead of Air. Ah, yes, Dead of Air. Ah, Dead of Air. So, do you have uh, an agony on that sounds like a, That sounds like an old Victorian name, isn't it? Ah, Dead of Air. Dead of Air. Dead of Air Le Clouf. Dead of Air Le Clouf. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dead of Air, yeah? <laughs> I've got the plague. Dead of Air, can I do my thing? Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm um, up a mouth. I do, yeah, I have one here. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's some random agony shit. Yes. Um, I recently discovered that my son, who is 17, is a homosexual. We are part of a church group, and I fear that if people in the group find out that he is uh, a homosexual, they will make fun of me for having a gay child. They probably will. Probably will, uh, because they are ignorant cunts. Mm. Uh, he won't listen to reason, and he will not he stop... He won't listen no, to no, reason. No, no, mate, this is brilliant. He won't listen to reason, and he will not stop being gay. <laughs> Selfish of him being himself. I feel as if he is doing this just to get back at me for forgetting his birthday for the past three years. I have oh, a busy work schedule. Right. Yes, and church. Um, Please. <laughs> apparently, busy yeah. church. Busy at church. Please help him make the right choice in life by not being gay. He won't listen to me, so maybe he will listen to you. We No. Be no. gay. Your mom that's should that's the your, most amount your, of shit your, I've heard your, someone come out of someone's mouth. Your mum should go gay. Yes. Yeah, stop going to church. Funnily enough, I think Maybe actually, that's where this all comes from. That is actually the advice given to the person. What? The mom You could be teach gay. your son an important lesson by changing your own sexuality to show him how easy it is. Know, to be Try it for that. the next year or so. Stop being a heterosexual to demonstrate your son that a person's sexuality oh, is a matter man. of choice. She, she's getting off slap. She went in, mate. She went in. She got a... She got a Somebody's she got a, sh- a lesbian. Yes. How oh, dare you? So what would, what would... I mean, without... I mean, obviously that person's given... I'd say stop going to church. Stop going to church? Mm. Fuck the church, man. Yeah, stop what going do they to fucking s- know? Stop going to church. They stop being gay. Sh- be more gay. That's it. The church is making Start you gay. Start an affair with the priest. And we all, we all know what a priest get up to. Yeah, I don't exactly. even care who we offend with this talk. Yeah, yeah. We don't, Priests we... fuck kids. Yeah. It's fucking out there. Yeah. They do all the time. Yep. Sunday mass isn't what it used to be. Yeah. Fuck the church. Fuck Ooh. priests. Fuck a lot of them. Be gay. Everyone be gay. To totally be the gay. Church. Be Everyone gay. be gay to piss off the church. Right now. Oh, we can take it down from the inside. I am literally. being... <laughs> from the inside <laughs> of each other's bum holes. <laughs> Take this church. I'm taking him down from the inside. Just as the Pope. Oh, don't. Uh, we, we talked about the Pope in the previous one. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, I would say uh, stop. That's church fucking ridiculous. Isn't it? I, no, it's it's the fact that people still have that mentality uh, of that, like, so. it's, especially in the religion. Yeah, I I struggle, man. I've heard like I actually used to work with a girl that said like, oh, you know, being gay is a choice, and it was so hard to hear her fucking say that. Because she was such a fucking skit. Yeah. But at the same time, we'd just be like, well, going to church on Sunday, can't work. And I was like, you fucking dickhole. Finishes at 11 when work opens. Why yeah. can't you come then? She fucking like skipped on work as well. She like le- she just left without coming back. Oh. And when we cleared the locker field out, trip probably. Mate, the best thing was, the best thing gays. was, man, when we cleared out her locker, we found a positive pregnancy test. Oh, <laughs> Fucking shit. hypocrite. So yeah, fuck the church, be happy. Oh, damn. That's the one, That's man. why she left then. Yeah. Fuck Skip the church town. and be happy. That's Skip it. Skip town before the... Uh, That's it, man. Before her mum found out she was not a lesbian. That makes sense. <laughs> That's a different thing. <laughs> but yeah, I say... Oh, yeah, I would say, yeah, uh, stop going to church and be gay yourself. Seriously, yeah. And then that's yeah, that's my answer. I think that's uh, and I think that's probably the best advice ever. Bitch. Like people, people that go on a, a book made of fucking story tales and fairy tales. <laughs> yes. Is uh and you know are taught these things. It's in man. It's like ca- like Catholicism, religion, and stuff like that is just as bad as racism. Oh, it's man. taught. We're going down it. We're, we're, we're going down it. I'm going down it. No, because I'm fucking. Joe's going. Being my bonnet. You're going the wrong Kuma way. Be in my bonnet. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Don't Jackson. Go. Don't. Jackson. Don't go, Joe. Don't go where I cannot follow. <laughs> Don't go, Martha Jackson. So yeah, that's our that's our that's our choice of uh, yeah. thing. Fuck religion. Be yep. happy. Yep. Doesn't uh, matter. Quit the church and be gay. Yeah. That's what I've said that so many times, but you know, we can all learn something from there. That. You go. If you don't, you, don't have, you don't have to be, you don't have to like start going to church to quit church no. and then be gay. The we'll thing is though, like bit. it's all like it's all welcoming and stuff. You know, there's like people are taught to like. It's hate. Like with the stories of the old building. That's it. Yeah. This church has been here for man, man, man years. Yeah, yeah. It has a graveyard back of someone vaguely important. There's a dungeon with a million baby skulls. Oh, which you can't see that bit. Don't pull that crucifix <laughs> over the secret room. I mean, I've, I've cleaned it. Don't get your dirty fingerprints like the, on it. The Scooby Gang, like <laughs> investigating a church. Don't go down there. That's the that secret dungeon where we okay. sacrifice those. Oh, I'm <laughs> masking the Jesus, Jesus on the crucifix. Yeah, you click it once and it just inverts <laughs> and it becomes a church of Satan. 
<laughs> just spins around and the flame comes out of the organ. <laughs> it looks like a Kiss concert. <laughs> Rock and rolls for the devil, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that was uh, our shitting episode. That was it. Uh, what a load I of think, shit, eh? I think we actually kept it low, lower in time as well. That's all right. Yeah. No, we've done a record. Right. So, uh, yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, just uh, a continued uh, thank you for everyone supporting and out there listening and sharing and telling your mates. Tell your mates. Yeah, tell your mates. Tell, tell your one mates. person. Tell, and they'll tell two friends. T- yes, and, and they'll, they'll tell, tell two friends. friends. And then one of them and stops, so is lazy, but he might, you know, That's share it. it on Facebook. Could be. So yeah, no, I think just a general... As just, usual, yeah, hit us yeah. in the email, allseeingguards.gmail.com. Hit, hit us up on Twitter at the All Seeing G, G. Instagram, Facebook page. We're very much social media. There's now. a lot of social media. So get on You may us. one day go onto Instagram and find us having an argument because uh, uh, Greg put a photo of me up that I didn't like. Yes, and, probably. Uh, and that's how the podcast will come just, to an end. Yeah. Um, we're going to play out the song by the band mentioned earlier on the night I uh, shit myself in the alley. That's it. Uh, the Lagan. Oh, man. Uh, we're the gonna, good old Lagan. Yes, uh, they're on SoundCloud. You can catch them live pretty much all the fucking they time. they got an album out as well on uh, album Banquet out. Records. And um, we're going to play a song off that album. I think it's uh, Where's Your Messiah Now. Okay. I think so. What's the track we're playing? Oh, man, is it... Uh, same shit. That's why we chose it because same uh, shite. it had the word. Uh, same shite, different night. There you go. And that's what it's all about. So we're going to be. Uh, yeah, they're on YouTube as well. We're going to be streaming this one off YouTube. So. Uh, and if you're listening in the Kingston area, they, you know, they're usually doing gigs around there. Check them out whenever you can because yep. they are fucking riot. So uh, shouts to the Lagan. Shouts to you guys for listening and shouts for shitting. Shout out to you as I well. I do Greg. enjoy a good shit. Shout out to you, Joe. Shout out. I've been Greg. I've been Joe. And we've been drunk. You'll see you guys. Hola. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, just edit that off so it just ends with me, please. <laughs> <laughs>